How did you go from effectively selling supplements or, or being a broker for these exchanges to now being the dominant clothing brand in, in gym? So we went to the event, Body Power, which I mentioned to you. And as we were walking around, everyone's wearing these sort of big stringer vests. And we were, we were as kids, we were inspired by two very sort of different things, right? Lifters in California, Ronnie Coleman, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the, the big guys that were wearing products and clothes that we just couldn't wear because we just weren't big enough. And then on the other end of the spectrum, like I'm sure all kids of my age at the time, top man two for 10 pound t-shirts, skinny jeans and all that sort of stuff. So we weirdly morphed Californian bodybuilding with European more fitted and like physique accentuating style and basically built the clothes that we wanted to wear. And again, it wasn't a case of, oh, there's an opportunity in clothing because to be honest, I didn't think there was. Like anyone that's looking at the fitness or sportswear market will probably think that, you know, there is there isn't an opportunity because there's so many big players there. So we just essentially bought a screen printer and a sewing machine and made the clothes that we wanted to um, that, to wear to the gym ourselves. Sorry, just say that again. You did what? You, you, you just... So again, that was another thing. So a, screen, so a screen printer is essentially the way that you print logos onto things. It saved up, I think it was about 1,200 quid um, through working at Pizza Hut and doing the Gymshark website and spent all that on, a, on those two things so that we could hand make product. So at the start, we were making the clothes that we wanted to wear to the gym because no one else was making it because the American uh, brands such as Nike and Under Armour were quite baggy and it just wasn't speaking to us. And there wasn't too much going on here in the UK and Europe. So we just made the clothes that we wanted to wear to the gym that would accentuate our physiques, uh, you know, young lifters at the time. Um, and then started putting it on the website. We, you know, it just started to, uh, to sell, I guess, particularly after we'd sent it out to a lot of uh, social media stars.